my next guest tonight from her stand up and from the Mindy Project. Please welcome to the late show, Fortune Feimster. Board. Thank you. Nice to have you here. I understand that you're from North Carolina. I am. And I'm from South Carolina. Yeah, you're from the smarter part, apparently. Am I? You're so am smart. I really? yeah. But North Carolina's got the research triangle That's and all true. that kind of stuff. I think we're supposed to, North Carolina's got the Tar Heels and, and Gamecocks, I guess. Yeah. I'm not sure. We're supposed to fight about barbecue. That's true. We right. love some barbecue in North Carolina. We love some barbecue in South Carolina. What is now South Carolina barbecue is It depends on what part of the state you're in. That's but same... uh, but mustard based barbecue mustard is kind based. of the special thing. Okay. Yeah, and y'all have that uh, that vinegar war crime. Well there's a, a West <laughs> Yeah, it's West Coast, East Coast uh, yeah. rivalry. It's a uh, pretty dangerous territory. Sure. E East is the vinegar, right? East is the vinegar, West is hickory smoke. Uh, barbecue sauce, mm. Mwah. Mm. so falling good. off the bone. Yeah, is that where you're from? I'm from the western part of the state. Okay, yeah. do you still get back down there? Because I try to go back to South Carolina every chance I yeah. can. Yeah, for and sure. And any restaurants you would go out to, or any sort of special like, well, if it was like a party or a birthday or yeah. something like that, what would you do? Well, so my family had a, a, a strong tradition of going to Hooters. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are familiar with the greatest restaurant in the world, sure. Hooters. Wings, clam uh, strips, sure. Amazing. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. You're really going there for the food. Really going for the food. But we went my entire life. I had two older brothers. Also, my dad was usually the person who was like, we should go to Hooters. <laughs> and <laughs> they, uh, my parents ended up divorced. Uh, quite a shock. <laughs> <laughs> but, he, he needed more time yeah, for the Hooters. Yeah, and, and my mom, but even my mom loved Hooters. Uh, and after, but after they divorced, uh, my mom developed Hooter shame um, because she started dating this very conservative, very religious man from the South, uh, and he thought everything was a sin. So uh, one night we were trying to figure out where to go eat out of habit, and I go, oh well, let's just go to Hooters. <laughs> And my mom was with her man friend, as we say in the South, and um, she stiffened up and she was like, ah, half, never eaten at Hooters. And I was like, what are you talking about? You recruited my babysitter at a Hooters. No, I have never. I'm like, you hired two Hooters waitresses to hula hoop at my brother's high school graduation party. <laughs> no, I have never eaten at Hooters, and you know this. Your mom sounds fun. She's pretty fun, and she was way more fun before this guy, because you asked if we went to places for birthdays, also Hooters. And so it was the go-to. It was the go-to. We spent my 18th birthday at a Hooters, and uh, and this was a time in our chain restaurant history when, if it was your birthday, the entire wait staff came out, just like you know, they're just like happy birthday to you. They're banging drums, they're throwing plates, there's confetti. Sure, sure. And I was, I know this is hard to believe, I was in the closet at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know I was gay, which is crazy because I've had this haircut since I was five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that happened. And uh, I didn't want any attention brought to me at this Hooters, so I told everybody, I'm like, you better not tell them it's my birthday or I'll kill you. And uh, my brother got there first, and his girlfriend told them, uh, she's like, guess what? I told him it was your birthday. So I shanked her. I was pissed. I was so pissed. And they, the, you know, I'm just, like, I knew what was coming, because at the end of the dinner, sure, sure. all these Hooters waitresses just, it was a boob parade. It was like, boobies, boobies, boobies. Mm -hmm. And the... They grabbed me by the hand and started parading me around this restaurant in the South. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the closet, not wanting any attention. It felt like the gay Salem witch trials. <laughs> Just horrifying. And they were the river you were being thrown into yeah. to see? There you go. They made me stand on a bar stool in the middle of the restaurant like I was going to get hanged. <laughs> it was a literal booby trap.
<laughs> happy memory. Um, happy memory. Happy, happy memory. Happy memory. But well, listen, before you, you, you also uh, in your new comedy special, Sweet and Salty. Sweet and Salty. Which is uh, coming out. Is is it? It's out. It's, it's out, out now, now on yeah. Netflix. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you talk about you were a debutante. I was. Now I was. A, I was. Uh, I went to a lot of uh, Debs from Charleston. Yeah. They had Debs. I was an escort. I was not a debut. Oh, media, you know. An escort. Please okay. call four. You get a little piece of, you know, yeah, a, a little rice paper. Like, please <laughs> call for right. Miss Fortune Feimster yeah. or something like that. Were you? So you did like cotillion, that kind of thing. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. We have yes. to learn manners and things. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Now, yeah. what did you have to learn as a Deb? Because here we have. Oh, Here's there she you. is. There she is. There you are in all your glory. Oh, she's in gorgeous. Your debut. Yeah. There you are. Lovely. I, yeah, I had to. I had to wear a white wedding gown uh, while my brother walked me down an aisle. Oh, this is your. This is your brother. <laughs> That's right my brother, there. not okay. my husband. Uh, it's hard to tell in North Carolina. Um, <laughs> But yeah, my mom. My mom was a debutante, and you know, in the South, it's a tradition. Your mom was one. You gotta, gotta do it. You gotta do it. And I was working as a maintenance worker at the recreation department at the time, <laughs> so I'd be lining softball fields and picking up trash like a lady. Um, and then I had to take etiquette classes where I had to learn all kinds of things. I had to learn how to like talk like a lady, because like if Can you I talk like a lady. Yeah, if I if I had met you uh, and I, I wanted to get your attention, I couldn't just be like, "What's up, Stephen?" <laughs> I had to, you know, just be like, "Why well, I do declare, <laughs> Stephen, mm -hmm. you are a, a fine gentleman," mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. oh. I can't believe I'm still out. It's past my curfew. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fortune Feimster, Sweet and Salty, is now out on Netflix. Fortune Feimster, everybody. We'll be right back.